many users have the need to send a private email message uh, either because they want the content to be private or because there's some regulatory uh, guidelines that require that certain types of emails are sent um, private or encrypted. Internally, if your company is running Microsoft Exchange as an email server or if you're using uh, Microsoft Office 365 as your email server, email between internal members of your company is always encrypted. Uh, where we get into a problem is if we try to send an email to someone outside of your organization, um, there is no, the, the email goes out uh, as a regular message and when the receiver sees it, um, he can just open it and read it. Um, there are some issues with this in that if there's somebody that's monitoring uh, your, their internet connection or their computer connection, they're able to see those emails as they go through. Uh, so if you have certain versions of Microsoft Office 365, specifically uh, version E3, then you have built the ability to send external encrypted messages. And if you have other versions of Office 365, you can have the ability, but it's an additional cost. So what I want to demonstrate today is how the encryption, how the external encryption actually works in Office 365. And I'm going to show you a demo of sending a message and then having the receiver open the message. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a message. We're going to put a certain uh, code in the message. Um, and when we send it, it tells the email server to that this uh, needs to be sent encrypted. Uh, and the email server sends the message out as an encrypted message. The recipient receives a, a normal email message in their inbox that indicates to them that they have a secure or an encrypted message. Then they have to log into the secure server, either using a Microsoft uh, account, whether it be Microsoft Office 365 or Live.com or Hotmail.com, any, any type of Microsoft uh, account. Or they also have an option of getting a single uh, code that will get sent to their email and they'll use that code to log into the secure site. Um, and once they log in, they'll be able to uh, see the message, they'll be able to reply to the message, they'll be able to print the message. Uh, but the, the message never ends up in their inbox on their computer. Um, so we're going to go through that right now. So I, right now I have uh, on the screen an open uh, email message that I'm going to create. I'm going to put a recipient in here. And again, the recipient needs to be outside of, uh, of our email domain. It cannot, so I'm, I'm, I'm in sysupgroup.com. If I send another, if I send a message to another person in the domain of sysupgroup.com, it will automatically send it encrypted, but th you won't have to go through this process. All mail um, amongst, it, within you, the, the same company is always encrypted. So we put an external user in. Um, the way that this works is there's some, uh, we're gonna put a code in to tell the system to encrypt. Now the message or, or the code that I'm gonna use in this demonstration is a code that we use for a lot of our clients, um, but there, it, we can also use other codes. So what we're, the code that we're gonna use here is gonna be the word encrypt with a capital E and then with a with a dash at the end of the word. So it's going to look like that. And then I can put my regular uh, subject line. Now you just re realize that where you put the encrypt with the with the dash doesn't matter. What does matter though is that it's exactly that way. In other words, it's the word encrypt with a capital E and there's a dash immediately following. It's important that you um, ensure that that's the case because if you, for instance, forget the dash or you have a space between the encrypt and the dash, then the message will go out, however, it will not be encrypted. Uh, of course, we don't, want, we don't want that to occur. But the encrypt with the dash can be in the front of the uh, subject line, it could be at the end of the subject line, uh, it can also be in the body of the text, so um, you can put it in any of those places. The key is that 
it has to be exactly as shown uh, with the capital E and the dash at the end of the word. So I'm going to put uh, a little text in here. And then I'm just going to send the message. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to the other email account. We're going to wait a uh, couple seconds for the email to come in. It should come in here. There it is. Uh, and then, so the, this is what the user is going to see when they receive it. And when we open it, it's going to basically tell them you've received an encrypted message. Uh, and it gives them instructions on how to view it. But basically the instructions are, there's an attachment here. I can either um, download the attachment or in, if you're using Outlook, you can just double click the attachment. It'll give you a little warning about opening attachments. We're gonna say open it. And this is what they're gonna see. Um, it'll say, it'll tell us who the message is from, who it's to. If I have a Microsoft account, I can use sign in, which is what I'm gonna do in a second here or I can request a one-time passcode. If I do that, I'll get an email message in my mailbox with a code in it. I'll then click on this, or I'll come back to this, and I'll put that code in there, and it'll let me in. But at the moment, I'm gonna sign in as this user. And once I get properly signed in, here's my email message. Now on this screen, uh, I have a few options. So over on the right here, I can reply. I can reply to all, I can forward the message, and I can print the message. But again, this message never um, appears or never gets sent to my inbox. If I reply or reply to all or forward, that the message will also go out as an encrypted message. So if I reply, it's going to go back as an encrypted message to the to the sender. Um, and if I forward it to somebody, uh, it'll go out as an encrypted message to whoever I forward it to. And of course, I can print it. So that's basically how that works. Um, so all I what I'll do here is I'll close the message and go back to my email. So that's how, how you can send an encrypted message. There are a couple things here that are important to realize. The first is it's, it, it's very important that we make sure that our, uh, the, the characters that we are using or the word that we are using follows exactly the rule that we've created, which says uh, that, that it has to, it, it's the word encrypt with a capital E and a dash at the end. Um, and it has to be all together. There can't be a space between the word encrypt and the dash. It has to be all together. And that word can be in the beginning of the subject line, anywhere within the subject line, or at the end of the subject line, or it can be in the, uh, the body of the email. And when you send it, the, uh, the, the system will see that and send the message as an encrypted message. If, if the word is not exactly in that format, the message will not go out encrypted. The other thing to realize is that you can do this whether you're using the Outlook client or whether you're using Outlook for the, for the web um, in, your, in your regular Office 365 tenant or if you're using Outlook on a uh, mobile device. It works across all those devices. The key is that you have to use exactly that, the, the, that um, sequence of characters, the word encrypt with a capital E and a dash. If you do that, the message will go out encrypted and you'll be all set and um, you'll, you'll meet regulatory compliance and you'll make sure that your message is private.